Hey everybody, David aka RV Jedi. I hope you are having a fantastic start to 2018 and I hope the middle and end end up being just as great. Lots coming up here on the big channel over the next year uh, and a lot coming up on the blog too. So I hope you stay with me, but right now I'm gonna send it back Back to the day when I was working on the big project of 2017, that of course, the renovation of my RV, and a video about the most asked question about my RV renovation. Hope you like it, and get out there and RV. Woo! everybody, David aka RV Jedi and this is a bonus video for you. Uh, I told you about the backsplash and showed you how I put the first backsplash up in the bathroom. Now I'm going to do it for the kitchen. This isn't a part of the normal renovation videos so this is a special behind the scenes sneak peek at what I'm going to be doing. So let's take a look at what I'm putting in right up there. So last time I used Tic Tac tiles and they worked well in the bathroom. This one for the kitchen, I wanted to do something different. So I'm using a Smart Tile product. Let's open it up here for you. And take a look at these. So with these smart tiles, I'm going to put them all on the back. It's uh, black and white, so it's going to stay with the motif. Uh, they are nine by nine, uh, and I've measured it out, and I should have enough for everything. Uh, I'm going to rough lay them just to get a feel for them uh, before I actually peel and stick them up on the wall. Okay, so let's dry fit them here. Uh, that'll be kind of one row. And the next one would be right about here. That's roughly the way it goes, and then it's going to go across all the way. So very much like the other tiles, uh, these seem pretty easy to pull off. I'll put the whole sheet there. So let's peel this and lay the first row. Take the second row, take a quick look and make sure I have them the way I want them. That's good. Now let's put in the next one. This may be the most difficult part of the whole process, peeling it off. There you go. All right. And they butt up real close, which is good. And there you go. Second row. Working with the tiles, anytime I had anything difficult to uh, work around, I just used a pair of scissors, made my cut, uh, and then it was easy to just put it back up on the wall. And that is it. The backsplash is up and it looks fantastic. Uh, just need to screw this back in but for the most part job well done I really enjoy it these smart tiles were perfect they were smart they make the rig stand out and I absolutely love them so that's it 
backsplash up and complete. I really, really enjoy it. It fits perfectly with the motif inside this RV uh, from the floor to the cabinets to the handles, everything. And uh, it adds a little fun play with the backsplash. I'll link all of the information for this underneath in the uh, information below. Uh, but again, thanks for watching. Hey, go out there and uh, check me out on social media. You can find me at RV Jedi all around. Uh, and then of course at my blog at RVJedi.com. If you're out there RVing, enjoy yourself. And if you're renovating your RV, have fun. It's just as exciting.